Good morning, everybody. What's up? My name is Richard with Sin City Deliveries, and this morning is January 9th, and I worked seven days last week to try and go for $2,100 off of DoorDash. Now, I'll cut to the chase real quick. I didn't hit my goal, but let's go over all of the numbers right now, okay? What I did make out there, I'll go ahead and throw up on the screen right here for you guys, and I'm going to read it off my little notebook right here, but what I made was $1,971.21, and I did that in 110 deliveries. So now, my active time. My active time was 43 hours out there, and if you break that down, it comes out to about $45.83 per hour. My dash time was 76 hours out there, right? Woo, big 76. But that comes out to $25.93. My average delivery, if you take the 110 deliveries and divide it into the 1971-21, it comes out to $17.91 on an average delivery. Now, not every single delivery obviously was, you know, $17 that I took. I still took some $6 ones and, you know, $7 ones and $5 ones that I had to drop off. But the average of getting the really, really large orders from, say, the catering orders, the large order program, the shop and pays, the pizza program, the priority access to having these orders is what averaged me throughout the whole week, $17.91. Now, I did get, I'm working in California right now, so there is something called adjustment pay, as California has a, a law called Prop 22 where they have to pay you a certain amount of dollar for your active time. And currently where I'm at, what that equates to is 120% of what minimum wage is in the area that I'm working. And that comes out to, ironically, $22 an hour. Now, that doesn't, Prop 22 doesn't mean $22 an hour for everybody. It depends on what your minimum wage is in the area that you're working. And mine happens to be, coincidentally, $22 along with Prop 22. So now, the adjustment that I received from California was $151.51 this morning, which had brought me up to 1971.21. Now, I didn't hit my goal of $2,100 because I did have a little bit of a hiccup during Tuesday where I ate some bad pizza and it totally jacked me up inside. And I, I only worked half that day and only made 100 bucks. And usually my goal would have been about $250 to $300 for any given day. So if I wouldn't have gotten sick on that day or got food poisoning from that pizza, I definitely would have hit my goal of $2,100. But I'm not gonna let that knock me down. It's a new brand new week out here and I'm gonna hustle my ass again and I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna shoot for that $2,100 goal because I really want to see that on my DoorDash stats. So hope you guys have your goal set and you guys are out there grinding it, making your money, getting as much as you can from all of these programs out there and I will see you guys out on the road as I go out there this week and try and make $2,100 off of DoorDash with all of these programs. I hope to see you guys out there on the road and I appreciate every single one of you checking out my video, commenting, liking, sharing, and whatever it may be. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you. All right, I'm on my first order and we're picking up from a place called Pita Pita, which is pretty cool, right? And I've got everything in this catering bag right now and it's a $260 worth of food. It said $14 the plus. Let's see how much this one comes out to. This is called the Taj Mahal Medical Center. So let's head into the medical center. Let's go hand this food to the uh, medical doctor is what it is. Nice. Banger, $40.37 on the first order starting Monday. All the businesses are back open. I knew this was gonna happen. All the employees are back to work. The holidays are over. So these businesses are gonna start ordering those massive lunches and I'm ready to fill those orders for these customers. That's right, we got a chick fil a next. We're gonna go drop off Quentin's meal. He got some good food there. I got myself a lemonade because I like their lemonade. Let's get it. I stopped to get some lunch at this barbecue place that I ate last week. And last time I got chicken and this time I got their barbecue beef. Mmm, that looks good there. This storm is about to hit Southern California here by about 4 p.m. So I'm getting my extra energy in here to work throughout the night because I know a lot of people are going to be ordering. And all of Tuesday tomorrow is going to be super fire because the brunt of the storm is going to hit us tomorrow. And yeah, a lot of people are going to stay home. They're going to order DoorDash and I'm gonna be there to fulfill all of those orders. Just finished up a California Pizza Kitchen and we got paid, bam, $35.80 to drop off that one. That one was a nice little banger. And right now I'm just headed back to a hot zone and resume my pause and then continue the dashing on. All right, got a nice little pizza order here and we're gonna drop this off, some pizza and some wings. And they said that there's cash under the doormat here. So let's go see if there really is. Under the doormat? Anything? Told you. No. Why would they do that, you know? Enjoy your pizza. Where's your bing bong at? Because I'm ringing it. Oh, it's not really there, but I'm going to do it. Oh, I heard it.
Next one we're on is a nice little shop and pay for $18.50, pretty easy. Just gotta do the last of the produce and grab some, you know, these and those and that and the over there and this and that, and then we're done. From store to door. How easy was that? Real quick. Bam, enjoy that right there. <laughs> Ring wrong. A cheesecake delivery. This one. Oh, come on. Okay. I think you did it out of the bag. Enjoy your cheesecake delivery. And a ring roll. Thank you. The next one we got is a place called WR Kitchen and Bar. It's a double, so I'm gonna do two of these customers right now. I'm gonna drop this first one and then drop the second one. This one is a no ring, no knock, baby sleeping. Enjoy your food. Thank you very much. It's starting to rain out here, guys. Here comes the storm. Our next one is gonna be some Little Caesars pizza. This one's a $21 offer. It looks like uh, the orders are starting to come in because it's starting to rain. It's pretty nice out here. It's like a, a light mist right now. It's nothing really crazy. It's not gonna soak you right now, but this is the start of the storm and tomorrow, from now until about like 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. tomorrow, it's gonna be wild out here with some rain. The heaviest of the rain is gonna come around like one or two in the morning. So hopefully I'll be asleep by that time and I won't have to deal with it. I'm not gonna be able to record much deliveries going to people's front doors because it's raining right now. I'm not trying to get you know people's food wet or my device soaked at the same time. So I'm just gonna hustle these ones. This one's Little Caesars, drop it off and see how much you get. Well, I just made a stupid mistake on that last one. I delivered to the wrong house. So you know you know how numbers in houses you know, usually go by like fours down the street? Well, this street, I'm just counting the houses because it's dark and it's raining and it's hard to see that none of the numbers are lit up. So I can see one house and it's like 15, 11. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, the next one's down should be two more down. I should be able to get to five or so. And I'm standing at seven and they go nine, seven, five, three, one. And it's like, why would they change the numbers up in the neighborhood? So I just learned something right there no longer gonna count numbers like I would in Las Vegas because Las Vegas is pretty easy to figure out on how the number sequentials go. But out here, they decide to just, uh, you know, give you a little curveball right there. And the customer actually walked out and was like, hey, um, are you DoorDash? <laughs> it's like, yeah, she's like, is that, you know, Little Caesar? I'm like, yeah, she's like, oh, um, that one's my order. And she was nice about it, you know? She's like, oh, it happens like all the time. Or not really like all the time, but I'm sure it's happened to her plenty of times because she was well aware right away that I was at the wrong house and had come out to get her pizza. Pretty funny, I got 21 bucks on that though, not bad. I came to AutoZone, I don't know if you can see this on my windshield right there. You see how that is like streaking? Every time I use my windshield wipers, I get this crazy streak in this glare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside, I'm gonna get this clay bar and hopefully it's gonna take whatever this is off of my window. Cause yeah, it's making it dangerous for me when people drive by or I go underneath street lights or the lights turn red or green is I just get the glare across the whole entire screen of my windshield and <laughs> it's not fun. So I'm gonna try and resolve this issue real quick. And see if I can get this to not do this when I turn on my windshield wipers cause that is not cool. You can even like see this line right here too, not fun. Sucks, they don't have it here, so I'm gonna go to Walmart. I'm pretty sure Walmart has it. They have a bigger selection. It's crazy. These auto zones and these O'Reilly's out here in California completely suck balls compared to Las Vegas. Las Vegas is so much better for O'Reilly's and AutoZone. They're way bigger and they have just more of a selection. So Super Walmart, here we come. Oh, that sucks. The clay bar didn't work. You can still see this crazy film that happens, the streaking. I don't know what it is. It wasn't there like last week when it rained, so it's kind of crappy, you know? It makes it a little more difficult to drive out here. It's eight o'clock right now. I haven't really made that much money because I've been dicking around. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. As long as I hit, you know, 200 bucks or so or a little bit over that for tonight, it'll be good. But then again, you know, I really don't care. Today's one of those days that's just kind of like, meh, whatever. Still doing good out here. We're at 185 bucks, but this is pissing me off. So I might go get something to eat right now. I'm pretty hungry. I just ate some food here at in and out It's about 9.24 right now. I haven't driven at all since about 7 o'clock once I tried to fix my windshield. And I think I know what it is. I've got bad wipers on there, and I've been using them since I got here. I'm pretty sure I sandblasted the shit out of my, my windshield and probably jacked it up at this point. So I'm contemplating on replacing my windshield, or I really don't know at this point. I feel like that's the only option to, to get this away. I don't think it's a glare or dirt or anything like that. I'm pretty sure... I just learned a valuable life lesson in, you know, using crappy windshield wiper blades that should have been fixed before I came out here into a storm. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I just sandblasted pretty much by using, you know, bad blades on my windshield and 
they've been going for a minute here, you know, out in this rain, and now it's starting to really catch up on it. That's the only kind of conclusion I can come to. So like I said, just contemplating if I should replace my windshield. So I don't really see any other option. And it kind of sucks. It's about 400 bucks or something to replace a windshield, which is, you know, not too bad for 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 what I make. I mean, it's like a, a day and a half of wages or something like that to really replace it. But they don't really have any openings until after like January 13th or so. So I just kind of suck it up and maybe just get through it and just deal with the the glare and the and the haze that's on there and just you know just know that I learned a valuable life lesson for the next vehicle that I purchase that I make sure that I don't make that mistake again kind of sucks you know but hey you live you learn it'll never happen to me again right now I'm just going to mix down the rest of this video I guess it's a uh, $185 is the total I made today and it's a little disappointing I, you know I want to really be shooting for more than $250 per day but it's all right. I'm still going to go out there. I'm going to hustle it. I'm going to grind it. You know, things things never work out like you expect them to work out. <laughs> you know, and I'm not saying that's like a negative thing. You know, there's always positive things that, that help you or, or work out better than what you thought it was going to be. But in this situation, yeah, it's kind of one of like the worst of the worst for me right now. And, you know, kind of disappointed in myself. But, hey, it is what it is. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves.